Hey guys, Jim Bowers, Demon Seed, back at you here on the YouTube network. We're over here at the statues. And if you're watching this and you haven't commented already, well, you're too late to get into the drawing for the Phantom 4 Pro that we're giving away on April the 18th. The contest ends on the 15th. If you are one of the first five to comment on all my videos between now and then, you are entered to win. Today, we are going to go over some different pointers on how to get the great shot, how to get the perfect video shot. So we're going to do a few tips and tricks on video and still photos. All right, I just want to let you guys know I'm down here in Auburn, California at a, a place called the Statues. And all of these concrete 35 foot tall sculptures were created by a doctor in town. His name is Kenneth Fox. All right, the first one we're going to do is we're going to do a circular pan, but I want to show you something on the radio. If you're going to do a left-hand circle, in other words, you're circling your point of interest counterclockwise, then your aileron stick is going to be to the left and your yaw stick is going to be to the right. If you want to circle to the right, in other words, a clockwise rotation, then your right stick ailerons are going to be to the right and your left stick yaw is going to be to the left. So both sticks out. Now, you want to do that very carefully. You can speed around the subject as fast as you want with the aileron stick. But with the yaw stick, you've got to creep it, just barely creep it in order to keep your point of interest in the center of the frame. If you're not very good at it, your point of interest is going to be jittery. It's going to move to the left, move to the right. You're constantly going to be correcting. If you're doing it correctly, the point of interest will stay right in the middle of the frame. All right, this next shot is called a pull away or a pull back. What you're going to do is Position your drone out in front of your subject. Let's say 10 feet away, 20 feet away, or as close as you want. Then you're gonna take your right stick and you're gonna start backing away. And at the same time, on your left stick, you're gonna throttle up. And with your gimbal roller wheel on the left-hand side of your radio, you're gonna roll the camera or pitch the camera down. Do all three of these actions nice and smoothly and pull out as far as you can, even a mile away. It might take some time to do that, but in post, you can speed it up so it all happens in three or four seconds. Or what you can do is start 10 feet or even three feet away from your subject, do a pull away, and then in post, reverse it. And what happens is if you reverse it and speed it up, the drone comes flying toward the subject and it stops three feet away. And it makes you look like a pro because you were able to fly in that fast and stop without crashing into the subject. So reverse it in post. It looks pretty cool. All right, this next shot is a still photo. You're out there shooting a landscape or a river or a city or whatever. You've got the landscape down below and you've got the sky up above. Bright sunny day. Well, everything gets too dark down below. Now, in DJI Go and the 3DR app and the Autel app for the XR Premium, you can tap the screen to adjust the exposure. So just tap right about on the horizon line. Not up in the sky, not all the way down, but somewhere right in the middle so you have a nice balanced exposure between the sky and the ground. You don't want to go too far down because then you blow out the sky and all the clouds disappear. Your ASA settings. If you're shooting landscape or portraits or something with a lot of detail, a lot of edges, what you want to do is set your ASA manually lower. 
So you want to set it like at 200 to 400 ASA. And what that gives you is a real sharp, clear image. If you move your ASA all the way up to 1,000 or above, sure, you can shoot at night because the ASA is so high. Then you can get city lights and all that kind of thing. But the problem with a real high ASA setting is everything starts to get grainy. Use that ASA during the daytime. When you zoom in on it and post, it's all going to be kind of sandy, gritty, pixely, and all that sort of thing. So always try to work with the lowest ASA settings as you can. This next shot, I call it a reveal. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to, let's say, set up your drone. First, aim it at your subject, but then once you know where your subject is, turn the drone around and face it somewhere else, like over the landscape or over the ocean or whatever. And maybe even rise up 15 or 20 feet so that the subject is below you. Start recording and then while you're dropping your throttle down and lowering back to the altitude that your subject is at, start to yaw or rotate the camera around to reveal the subject in order the subject just kind of shows up in the shot but it's yeah i'm just hanging out under a woody <laughs> this uh this sculpture was fox's most controversial piece a bunch of uh haters decided it was pornographic so in the middle of the night, he came over here and took a sledgehammer to his wiener and broke it off. And he repaired it, got some a sack of ready mix out here and put his schlong back on. But somebody kept coming over with a sledgehammer and busting it off again. So he finally gave up and decided to leave him with a little turtle. This next shot, I don't know what the real name of it is. I just call it an up and down shot. What you're going to do is put your drone right out in front of his, uh, his trouser snake right here and get in close on it, like five feet away, so just his wiener is in the frame. And then what you're going to do is just throttle straight up. And so that reveals the rest of the statue. But as soon as you leave the statue and you're up and away from it, start rotating your gimbal down and it goes from landscape to a top-down view of your subject. Give it a try on your pecker. And that's going to do it right here from Auburn, California at the Statues by Kenneth Fox. All right, you guys, don't forget to kiss that flabby-ass wife of yours right on her love muffin. Jim Bowers, Demon Seed, I'm out.